Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day 26, I think. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, let me know what you think about today's farm. Uh, yeah, I'm here. Uh, I just ran in Central Park and over a bridge. That's it. I don't know. So people keep on telling me to do this. I don't know if I'm going to keep doing it, but uh, you can see the, uh, the camera quality again. And here's some horsey. <laughs> uh, and I'm just in a park in New York. Check it out. That's it. All right, let's go. Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. Uh, yeah, we did the intro, you know, in the park, literally. Uh, but still, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. And today, we have a Yeezy Bomb. Yes. I am very tired again. Just didn't sleep well. Uh, or maybe I'm just still... I mean, I slept okay, but I, I think I, my body still recovering from yesterday's tough run. Uh, and I just did my six miles in the park, so still, we got just tired, tired, tired. Anyway, let's take a look at today's problem. Is it easy? So we'll get, use that as a uh, as a thing to kind of take it a break. So let's go. We have H12 largest triangle uh, area. Give it away. Duh, 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 duh. Uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I think there are a lot of different ways that you can think about this problem. Um, I mean, not that many ways. I mean, you just iterate every three points, right? So that's one. And then the second question is, how do you find the area of a triangle? And there are a lot of different ways you can do it. There's um, there's the uh, the formula with uh, what what is that formula called? Huh. There's a formula basically. You just kind of um, eh, maybe I'll draw it out, but I, I forgot the name of the formula to be honest. And, and it seems like we're doing triangle. There's also an area with like semi parameters. You use like the law of cosines and find the area that way. There are a couple of things like that. Um, I don't know which one I'm going to use yet. Uh, I do like the semi-parameter one because it feels like it's the easiest one for me to remember. Um, and and also, honestly, a lot of these is trivia, right? In a sense, and I meant trivia, not trivial. Trivia meaning that it's just something either you do or you don't. Maybe you could prove it if you really try really hard, but, uh, but I don't remember, right? But basically, you give it a try and go, you can just, uh, just take any point, really. I take the origin for easy, and then you can just kind of uh, create these uh, these triangle and then just um, so you you know you have the area of, so basically the area of this triangle is just you go to uh, the big one uh, maybe I should use different colors you know the big uh, or maybe I should do a triangle where it looks less like parallel or whatever all right let me, let me try again real quick uh, but yeah, but basically maybe you have someone like this, right? And then, and the visualization is much easier, right? Because now you have someone like this. Then now, this area is just, you go to the, the whole thing. Oops. Whole thing. Minus this triangle and this triangle, right? So stuff like that. And, and then you could, and then you could do a, a lot of different rows about it. Um, so th that's one way to do it, but I cannot remember the name. I mean, I'm not very good at geometry, so my apologies. But the way the one that I uh, know is about uh, what, what is called the semi-parameter. Uh, and, and I don't really know, actually, honestly, I don't, I mean, I actually don't know the proof for this one. But it is just something that I, I, I've always known, because I remember I, 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 um, because I remember I used it for SATs, like that's how far back it went. And it's not necessary, but it is just something that people know. Uh, and people by me, I mean. Uh, and and I don't even know, I actually remember the proof. I, mean, I, I think for me, I'm just trying to figure out how to remember the proof. Um, huh. Maybe I could prove it, but... but maybe I could prove it, but I don't know that I remember. Um... Uh, Hmm. But basically, the idea is that uh, you have a semi-parameter, which is semi preda uh, which is equal to um, A plus B plus C over 2, where these are all the uh, triangle lengths. And then it's just S times S minus A times S minus B times S minus C. Um, and I think there's like a good proof for it, but... I, Honestly, I am um, like I, I I don't know it. 
Oh, off my head today. I, I, um, geometry. This is not a geometry channel. You though we do get geometry problems uh, uh, from time to time. Um, I do urge you to search just like semi-parameter, triangle, uh, area, and you'll probably get it. And maybe there are probably good YouTube videos on it too, but not this one. So yeah. Anyway, just given that, uh, and this is supposed to be easy. Um, there are other ways as well. Um, yeah, uh, um, so I don't know. That's just one way. Um, <clears throat> yeah, uh, but that's it, right? So then now we go for... Yeah, we'll, we'll do the same thing as we did yesterday, right? So, do -do 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 -do, right? And by that, I just mean looping it, even though I keep on typing incorrectly. Oops. Right. And then maybe, um, yeah. So then we just maybe get like best is equal to zero. Uh, oh, I think it's the square root of this, is it? Huh. Maybe I messed up on this one. Uh, But, yeah, I think it's a square root, actually. I'll double check later. Um, the reason why I sometimes, uh, I, I don't remember the square root or not is because there are some cases where you don't want to square root it because you don't care about the actual area. You care about it relative to different things, and this way you keep it relatively in um, in integers, right? So that's kind of why. I, but then I now, now I just forgot it. <laughs> But yeah, in any case, uh, maybe you could do like best is equal to max, best, uh, solve by JK or something, or find area, let's just say. Uh, and then return best, right? Uh, and then do, 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 right? And IJK, right? Uh, and then maybe you have A is equal to distance of points I, point J, B is equal to do, 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 point j points k and then c is equal to do, 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 points k points uh, i and then now we just return or s is equal to i mean this is just implementing it right i don't think i'm actually it's it's not a i know that i, I did it the division right just by i don't know uh, uh, uh what you might call it like uh muscle memory but uh, but it definitely shouldn't happen. Anyway, I think that should be okay. We have to write the distance formula for um, uh, yeah a and b, right? So then you have a do, 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 minus b do, 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 right? So it is this. The distance formula is just square root of this plus do, 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 right? Uh, something like that, right? All right, let's give it a spin. Hopefully it's right. Looks okay. <laughs> YOLO submit. I, I'm too lazy to check. Uh, did I forget negative numbers? I never forget negative numbers. No, this gives negative domain for some reason, huh? I mean, I did forget to, to check for negative numbers, but I don't think that matters. Because distance should be positive. Unless I, like, misprint by something. Yeah, this should be positive. This should be... <clears throat> Did I mess up the division by 2? That doesn't make sense though, right? Because S, by definition, a... S minus A should, they all should be greater than zero. What am I doing? Uh, so you have A, B, C, S, and this is basically saying this is zero. Oh, I guess we have like zero lengths. Hmm. I mean, so what happens is that this is actually zero, 
right? Um, like S minus A or some, one of those is going to be zero, but because of the rounding errors, it becomes like a very small negative number, but it, the very small negative number turns everything into negative. I guess I didn't really consider that. Um, but what is the way to write that then? Um, hmm. I mean, I guess you can just write like do, 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 just for small rounding errors, but it, that's way wonky though, honestly. Uh, but yeah, because in that case, the area would be zero anyway, but I don't know. I mean, we look okay. Uh, this is a mess today, honestly, not gonna lie. Like I said, not my foot. Uh, I, I, I'm not a good geometry, but do I, I mean, this is pretty basic. I just, hmm. I don't remember how I, I used to write this because I, I feel like I don't remember needing to do this in the past, like the max part, just to get, get around the small rounding errors. Um, does that mean, uh, no, because I mean, hmm, what does that mean? Well, if the area is zero, it just means that it's degenerate, right? So, okay, let me look at it again anyway. Um, so it just means that A plus B is equal to C is what ha what's happening. Uh, I think that's what the issue was uh, for that one. Right? Uh, I think it's this one. So yeah, so A plus B is equal to C. I guess that's why the area is zero. So that's the degenerate C. Because otherwise, yeah, okay. I, buy, I could buy that. But yeah, be, uh, <sighs> That's a little bit annoying. Yeah, okay, fine. Um, I'm trying to think whether, you know, you could handle it a little bit better, but maybe, but maybe I'm just out of shape. I don't know. That's all I have for today, though. That, uh, Like I said, there are other formulas for this, for a triangle. There's, um, maybe now I'll Google it real quick for y'all. Uh, like a law of cosines, I think. Uh, for triangle, right? So there's that one, which is apparently squ square root of a plus a square plus b square minus two ab cosine thing, which the the cosine you could also use um, like one of the dot product e things, right? And then there's also the other rule: um, tri triangle area as sum of areas or something, maybe. What is that called? Heron's formula. Is that the one I was thinking of? Hmm, I don't know. I'm not very good at this, like a lie. So today, that's all I have. Um, let me know in the comments how you did it. I'm sure there's a lot of different ways. Uh, what did I do last time? And the last time was like six years ago or whatever. Um, this is just the, uh, the cross product. I mean, this is the thing that we were saying, right? The cross product. Or I mean, is it a cost product? It's a, uh, it's a uh, what you might call it of the of the, uh, uh, what is that? The, the, the determinant. Man, I don't know. Maybe I'm making things up. I don't remember how to do this. I, I honestly, uh, uh, in in ACM type things like um, uh, uh, code forces and, and you know actually this come the uh, the area of triangle comes up frequently enough right uh, in areas of stuff geometry in general um but for elite code i guess they don't really come up as often so i i think i'm just way out of shape about it so that's all i'm gonna have for y'all uh hope y'all have a great weekend this is ends cube by the way in case you were wondering uh, a lot of square wood stuff which makes me sad which is why um you know it, it's kind of relatively slow but I am not going to care about it. And, and uh, the other one, the other solution is much faster because it doesn't have to do anything with square root. Um, so that's always a little bit better. Um, but yeah, uh, that is all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. And yeah, stay good, stay healthy, do your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.